Are you wondering like I'm wondering, what are these and can we eat them? Ready? Let's go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. I'm gonna be back in a minute, okay? Did you see what I see? I gotta go get a bag. Hold on. The girls are in here. Hello, my knuckleheads. Um, she has pneumonia. Anyway, you stay here. It is almost Thanksgiving. I know, yuppie bag. Um, it's frosted here several times. The ground is frozen about three inches. Actually, I just shot a video about digging up potatoes out of my frozen potato bed. And I just drove by that. I think these are oyster mushrooms. The question is, can we eat them? First, let's make sure they're mushroom. But also, since it's frosted last night, um, the bottom part of this is cold. And, um, well, let's take some off and see. See there, well, you can't really see, but they are in there. It is, it like crunches when you're taking it off. And that is cold and hard, but look at that. They feel a little leathery, rubbery. Some of these are past their prime. Um, that's just, that's gone. That's gone, but man, that smells. That's an amazing smell. Um, I just love that smell of woodsy mushrooms. These look like they fruited a little later than um, the ones over there. This is a, a maple, probably a sugar maple, because I'm in the land of sugar maples. But um, see there's snow on here, so there's definitely been some frost, but can you eat a frozen mushroom? We're gonna find out. This is just, I'm very excited, as you can tell. That's definitely frozen. I'm wondering whether this will turn to mush or not. Um, I mean, I'm all about, I'll, blah. I'm all about, hey, let's try this. Let's see what happens. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, finish some harvesting here. So I've left a bunch here. Um, I don't know if the spore will travel with this kind of weather condition. It's supposed to rain later. It's like 32 and a half degrees out, just above freezing. So I have some, and I always leave some. I think the karma is boomerang that way, but still a nice harvest. We're gonna identify these, and then um, if they're an edible one, we're going to cook them. Here's the rub though. I have to go back to New York City today. We live in Brooklyn during the week. So we're gonna take these, and we're gonna mushroom road trip to Brooklyn, identify them, and cook them. Ready? Here we go. Look where we are. The Brooklyn Museum. No, the Brooklyn Library. It says right there. So, um, before you eat mushrooms, you need to identify them. And this is me trying to get you to go to your library and also learn about identifying mushrooms and also seeing if Erica eat these mushrooms. So, um, in here is some knowledge. Here we go.
got our books. It's Grand Army Plaza. I used to live right near here and then I moved, so it's kind of fun to be back. But the library, just go to your library. It is amazing. I kind of got lost in the stacks there and I was like going to check out too many books and I forgot my knapsack and that's more information you need to know. So let's go, um, let's go see if we can eat these mushrooms and then cook them. So stay for that bonus round of cooking. So some of these are looking a little aged. They're looking a little old, but you can still eat them. They're just not gonna be like, wow. But still, it's wow that you got these from the woods and wow that we're gonna identify them. I just said you could eat them and we don't know that yet. Strike that, okay? What are you thinking about mushrooms? Yeah? Is that exciting? Uh, not too excited, huh? Yeah. So how did I learn about mushroom foraging? It's, I think the way a lot of people do, I actually went with a conservation group in the next town and they had these two mycology experts in the woods and we walked around and we discovered different kinds of mushrooms that were edible and the other ones to watch out for, which I think is great. So learning from another person, learning from an expert is really the best way, like a mentoring. You wanna read the book with me? You can't eat the book, okay? Another way is through guidebooks. I will link to all the guidebooks that I use Again, you don't have to buy them. You could just get them from the library, like this really good one, with a chapter on oyster mushrooms. So with all the information we've garnered from our guidebooks, looking, smelling, observing where it was growing, how we harvested it, what did it look like, stacked, kind of like this, my vote is that these are edible. So let's try this, see what happens. Is that really a good phrase for mushrooming? I don't know about that. I don't like to slice mushrooms. I just like to tear them into pieces. Well, maybe bigger pieces than that, but I kind of like the, I don't know, I just like tearing them rather than cutting them. Cutting is too uniform and that's my garden fork. All right, these. Smells pretty good. Let's see if it's edible. All right, the great moment. Will I live or will I die? Let's see here. Tastes like a mushroom. Tastes like a winner to me. Let's you and I continue our mushroom journey here. I have some more mushroom videos. It should be floating right here. So I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna eat these mushrooms.